yeah um good morning and welcome to it tech tutorials um to start with your photo editing um you open your photoshop um i think i already got it open here i use my photoshop cs um let's access our image now under your file you go to your open and you assess your image there um i think uh, let me check what picture are we going to use today down 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 okay i think i have any here i'm gonna pause this one i'll be back all right uh, welcome back um okay i think i've gotten the picture on you so let's use this so first thing you have to notice that um you normally i always love copy my image but um the first step is creating um three layers and these three layers you are going to name the one outline the other black and the last one um white so let's begin that outline enter black Okay, so what I will do right now, I will color this and this. I think um, yeah, it's okay like this. So I will go to my bucket two, bucket two, paint bucket two. Now fill the white with a white color from just here over here now. Okay, switch the color now to black and then fill it. So what I will do, I'll turn them off. So my next step now will be I just need this this um I don't need whatever is out here, I just need this very shape here. So I will get my crop tool, click on it and drag it just just on the open space. I think it's okay like this. Um okay. Then my next step will be go under image beneath um, my image size beneath my image size because I need I need this image to be at its optimum um, um, I don't know how to I need the pixel to be high actually so I'll go beneath on uh, go smooth but best for enlargement go under my height i normally use um no 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 go under your resolution i use a 300 use 300 then under your height i might use a 3000 or probably 2005 that should be okay your width 200 your height 2005 i think that should be that margin should be your resolution 300 so click on OK and you see the image will go enlarge, pop up like that. So um, so next step will be us making a sketch of the image, making a sketch of the image. So um, let me take this down. Okay, uh, let us begin now. Um, I'll assess my pen to shortcut to assess your pen to is P on your keyboard. So um, I'm going to zoom this and um, start making a sketch of this very guy. Now I want to teach you a trick on making your sketch. Now um, you click here, you click here. I'm dragging it, holding my primary button, dragging it. Are you getting me? Drag and stop. Then get here, wait till it shows this very mark. Hold my alternate key. Are you getting me? Till it shows this very V mark. Then click on your secondary button. That side goes off and um, it's easy as that. And start continuing my drawing. Okay. So I'm going to 
you are gonna watch me do this for just some time, you know. I think I had a uh, I'm supposed to send the tutorial on you using this very tool. Just as easy as this, you know. It's not that difficult. Remember, you hold, you drag, you drag, you stop, you wait, and remove this. I think there's a picture of my brother, so I'm gonna use him for my tutorial. Okay, drag here. I think I'm gonna cancel that. Start a fresh one over here. So it depends on you. Okay, stop here. Start here again. So I want you to watch and learn. Okay. Just as easy as this. That's how you're gonna sketch every bit. If you notice, it's not all the time I use this, this stuff. So stop here. And take it down. Okay. I'm using my escape key to unselect my my selection actually. Let me undo that. Undo is control shift and alternate. Okay, and um let's take it down. So let us unselect it, click on our escape and uh -huh, this selection disappears. So okay, um Take it from there. Depends on how best, how best you want to do your sketch work. Okay. I think we're going somewhere. Take it down. So if you have any problem whatsoever, just contact me. I'll put you through what I actually did. If there's anything you don't understand here. Uh, make you understand what I actually did. Escape because I don't understand this very one okay and um skip mind you this is a very very delicate and crucial part of your edit okay Hope you are not lost. You are still with me. So just watch this closely and pay attention. There are one or two tricks you can pick from here. Like I said, if you are having any issue whatsoever, don't hesitate to contact me on my WhatsApp.
Okay, um, basically, um, we are going to just make um, a all-round sketch of the image. So, um, I think I have made the all-round all sketch in around the image. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm zooming out. Um, if, if you are used that, some things I'm not going to explain now because I'm sure I've given you basic information on how your Photoshop works. You are supposed to have a basic idea on how your Photoshop works. Uh -huh. You're supposed to know your zoom tool and different type of tool you're supposed to use. So right now I'm using the zoom tool to zoom and zoom in and all that. Uh -huh. So I'm checking out for places I haven't made a sketch of. Now for example, this very part, I'm supposed to sketch it. And uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. So, um, button it. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to understand what I'm doing now. If you, if you have been paying attention, close attention to this tutorial right from the beginning. All right. Okay. Think. Make sure you don't have lapses. Make sure it's is as in how will I put it? You join it with the because you're gonna need this when painting. If there are lapses, the images or when you are using your uh, magic tool is going to leak out. It will definitely leak out. Let me check how long I have. Okay, it will definitely leak out. So make sure you seal everything. So, um, uh, the close pass is through that point. Um, okay. Let us go to the eye. I want to play, pay close attention to what I'm about doing now. See, drag. I use my alternate. I hold my alternate and I click here. Then um, take it down and drag up to make that perfect. Drag. Close it here, take it down. Um, I'll try it good with this, but uh, for a beginner, you're gonna take time to master what I'm doing right now. So, um, I just turned on my the white visibility, and I told you you put on the black and white. So, I'm using the white right now to see what I've actually sketched, and it's okay. Then it knows you don't have to do much. Just there is some um, click here and um, I think that will do. Okay, thank you and um, I think that's it. And leap. Um, I might be actually choose this picture actually. No. There's some complex things I have here that um So basically, we are just making an all and just simple sketch work here. So, um, yes, and um, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So, what will happen now? We we'll apply my um, we we'll made the all round basically all round sketch. Let us look at it. You can see it. Just a simple all round sketch. Now, I think I already have uh, prepared um tool that I normally use so this very um, brush preset I'm going to send it to you so you create it yourself and use it on your in your work so this is a hard eclipse but I actually created this actual um, brush so um, go down to my pen to secondary button click on the secondary button click on stroke path I'm gonna turn this stimulation stimulate pressure off and then um, apply. So that's it. Basically I've I've sketched that. So let us get down to the eyeball. Okay. I will go to um how's this called? Eye clips tool. 
Das heißt, die sehr zahlen. Ich habe hier das wird ja für ein Dorn ist. Okay. Stroke Packs and uh, I think we've got it there. So that's it. So what we'll do we'll use a eraser tool. I think I have this display. Also. I'm using um um this very key to reduce it. Ah, I don't know how to explain it on where's my dot? Okay. This one, this very key on the keyboard. Understanding this is to reduce it and this is to increase it on your keyboard. Are you understanding me? So don't save. I understand that. Okay, so let me use my eraser. I'm reducing it right now. Make sure your brush precept is hard. Okay, so what I'll use, I'll use my bucket paint to apply it, uh, double apply it again, apply it and double apply it again. Are you understanding me? Then use my eraser to just remove the excess um, here. I think we're done. Let's view what we've done. It's looking more like cartoon, you know. Okay. So um, basically, um, our next approach now will be making putting lines, those little lines on the face and all that. So what I'll do about that, I'm not going to use this outline layer that I created. I'm going to create a new layer. And normally, I just you can call it anything you like, but me, I use this. Uh, I use um, I'll name it line. I double click on this. Just on this, so limit line, and then I'm not gonna use this very piece, I'm gonna use a different preset here. Coming up, I'm using this theory, mm, theory is okay. Okay, go back to my pen tool. Let me let off your image again. Okay. So, this very line on the eye, I have to draw it. To try to this very on the chain <laughs> and the one on the ear. So okay, I think I'm gonna draw this one. Put some little basic stuff. Okay, so now yeah, we go to press our secondary button, stroke part. And uh, right now, I'm going to use Stimulate Pressure. Now, if you're using Stimulate Pressure, the first brush I used in making a round sketch, it won't work on that. That's why I actually told you I used a different brush preset. Now, that very one I used is the one you're going to use. Now, you Stimulate Pressure on it and then uh, click on your OK. And voila, that's all we get. If you notice, each end, the end is faint. Why the center is so that's the effect I want. But if you don't stimulate pressure on it, it's going to be just regular. You know? Just let me remove it. And so you see how it, how it and it's just going to be just regular. So um brush. I'll use this size. Okay, I'll use it. I'll use it. And then stimulate pressure. On it. Here we go. So 
so I think um, that's it for our um, brush should I say sketching tutorial no, no. Um, let me just stop this video for you and um, I think our next tutorial will be um, okay well, let me continue let me continue continue so first thing I'm going to draw a hair uh, on this 31 so how do I do that I'll create a new layer name it hair are you understanding me then I'm um, come here I think I'm creating this very hair preset okay you know what I'll show you how I do, do it now um, I'm using this very very one what I will do come to just turn this white turn the image off turn everything off go to go to a, an empty go to an empty um space on the on your workspace hmm? now draw something like this understanding me let's give it that hair hair covering shape yeah this will do then what i will do right now go under your masker to rectangular masker to select it are you understanding me now um select it now go under your edit and take define brush preset that's how to create your own personal brush preset uh, you you see you, you know you know which suits you best so Define brush to say that's it. I'll name it uh, my I'll name it my hair, and that's it. It goes down. So when I'm going under my brush, I'm selecting that's it. This is one previously uh, previously created. Now I'm going to use this very one right now. So that's it. You send it. That's it. That's it. So I'm going to erase this very one off. You know, Control D is to deselect. So um, let's go to our image. Turn every, turn their visibility on and um, think I'm start this. So by using a hairbrush, you click on your F5 to assess um different settings you can use on it you don't understand it though you can also assess it from your window the window you click on your brush or use your f5 now this one i'm gonna do it's gonna appear somewhere around here so um assess our brush on um, this this is how it looks but guess what i'm gonna do turn on my shape dynamics turn on my scatter and turn on my transfer now under your strip dynamics i'm going to click on that um i think i'll work on the angle let's twist it a little bit i think i will turn off the flick jitter the flip s jitter the flip y jitter and the brush projection okay then under scatter the way i want it to i'll just reduce it a little bit i think uh, let me reduce the brush size you know how to reduce the brush size. i taught you before so let me reduce it now. you see the effect down here so um now the function of your transfer is to reduce its opacity some of the brush uh, will be uh, have this higher opacity while some will have a reduced one so i'm um, gonna shift it down here and you see the effect yeah so um let's begin our painting just apply it why not my leave the images on so i know what i'm actually doing okay let me turn on the white visibility so you see what's going on So just like that and so um, when I'm done I will show you what happened. <laughs> just apply T everything becomes darkened. I think I'm just now. 
So one more thing, uh, you turn on the image so you know where to actually apply your brush to one. And um, though you might not be seeing what you are doing, but you are actually doing something. This is my favorite part. Like I'm creating hair on something that's not hair. So you before now I normally just um, mark the part and just <coughs> and just apply a black fill on it, just fill it with black. But I think um, since I've learned this, uh, this has been way 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 better than that because it gives you the ability uh, this control over what you are actually um, painting. Well, never mind even if the, the the hair goes outside you can actually use your eraser to on them okay pay close attention okay Don't come here. seen it are you seeing the beauty <laughs> okay never mind just make sure basically some part of the image gets sealed off so like I said before I said if you have any issue um just convert me and um always be here to put you through or guide you on what to try to do let's make it round and okay so what i'll do right now eh? is to um use my eraser tool and think uh, let me use a soft brush soft round pressure on it just remove some of the edges let me see the original image turn on the white piece of paint so you know what you're doing okay I'll turn it up so right here i can use my initiative on to match it on so it's just as simple as that what well, one thing I love about this like you feeling it you have total control over what you're doing Just want it to be leveled, you know. So use your eraser, just remove the excess. And so what I'm going to do now, right now. So what I'm going to do right now, duplicate this here. Uh, you're gonna see m something like ma you're gonna see magic, yeah. So there are different ways to duplicate. Uh, duplicate layer. Just click on my secondary button to duplicate the layer. Okay. Or you use Control J on your keyboard. So I duplicated the just the layer, and you see how it goes. Um, I'll click on my hold my shift, click on these two very one, Control E to group them. 
so um, um mm, I think it's all right like this um uh, let me zoom out so you see what I've done so that's um all on making a sketch okay I forgot something um the cloth the clothes um you could just um, let's see um see what I can do here. Yeah. It's not really it's not really that difficult to do. It was good to be around just to drive it on. We need a show to do all I'll say This picture and the one with me if I give you. I don't get it. No for you, they do video. Yeah, you, you just put everything. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um let's go down here and um I think I'm gonna use a hard brush. Increase okay, it's 15. I'll just reduce it a little bit. I'm just checking what's going on here. So I'll use it to probably four, and then um allow it to be on the line layer. Then stimulate pressure. Make sure it's on stimulate pressure. And I think that's all. See, mm. is it like pizza? So um that's all for sketching. Um. Thanks for viewing and um, I will think I will do the next one um, painting the artwork. So stay tuned and God bless you. Thank you.